you are entering the OLED pilot plant facilities at Brunel University London. The facility is unique in that it actually has multi-chamber production system where you can use 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter substrates for OLED displays and lighting. The facilities is within the Organic Electronics Group and the director is Professor Pupadi Kadiramanala. This particular machine is operated from a control panel which you see on the left. At the moment, the world leading engineer, Kumar, is actually operating the system. And so everything is controlled from this control panel. And the substrates are moved by robotic arms, which you can see on the left, where you, have, you see black grills. So the substrate, whether it's indium tin oxide glass or any transparent conductor on glass or plastic, is placed in the pretreatment chamber, which actually is an oxygen plasma chamber where the surface is clean in the presence of oxygen plasma. The substrate is then moved into chamber A. It's a vacuum thermal evaporation chamber where there are two crucibles from which we evaporate whole injection layers or whole transport layers. And then the substrate is then moved into the second chamber where there are six crucibles and you can evaporate the whole transporters, host, dopants, that's emitters, electron transporters, electron injectors, hole blockers and the like. And you can evaporate up to six materials concurrently or in, in usually a host or two hosts and a dopant. Once the emissive layers and the electron transport layers are deposited, it then moves into the third chamber where we evaporate the electron injector, usually lithium fluoride or lithium quinolate, and then aluminium electrode, about 120 nanometers, is deposited from the aluminium wire fed heater. And then it moves into the passivation chamber which is either used for the deposition of silicon nitride or silicon oxide which forms a conformable insulation layer and a passivation layer. And the substrate then is moved into the glove box into which we already have adhesive uh, applied to the extremity of a back plate. So the front plate with the OLED device and the back plate with the adhesives at the edges are clamped together and there is a UV lamp up there and we shine light or UV light rather for about five seconds and it cures the adhesive and you then got an, uh, an OLED device which is encapsulated. Usually we also use desiccants so you put at least two desiccants in the before you do the encapsulation. So the device is now complete and the measurement is then um, continued. We do luminance versus voltage measurements, current versus voltage, color coordinates, and indeed the lifetime. So that's, and then we make either passive matrix devices for demonstration, which had already been shown on a UV, uh, already been shown on the YouTube. So, here it is, the OLED pilot plant machine at Brunel's in University, London. And we could make you 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter panel OLEDs for displays or lighting applications. And uh, this, we have highly trained engineers, most of whom were trained in Japan at the manufacturer's site, Ulbeck, Shigasaki. So we can make the world best devices. Thank you for watching this video.